Hello Super Users, as you may remember I said in this lesson we're going to go over the Jetstream Finale controller and how you can really utilize the JW Lewis script for your own purposes. And this is personally how I use the Jetstream Finale controller the most because if I can have everything in Keyboard Maestro and have one solid overall organizing feature that I interact with the keyboard with it just makes the entire process faster. So I actually integrate both normal JW Lewis scripts, the Jetstream Finale controller scripts, and just a regular old Keyboard Maestro macro all together, even sometimes within like the same macro group. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically several of us have created this Stream Deck profile. And the Stream Deck is simply just a an actual device that you can use with buttons and these buttons can change images. And you can press them down, that way you can do any sort of actions on your computer. And we've programmed this to work really, really, really well with Finale. Now you don't actually need the Stream Deck, you don't actually need the iOS app for what I'm going to show you, but if you want to use it, go right ahead. It can be really useful. So real quickly, to get the profile, there's two ways. Number one, if we've released this by the time you're watching the video, just go to the bottom of the page fill out your name and email. That way we can just send it to you via an email. Number two, if we have not yet released it and it still says that uh, you'll get an email when it comes out and you really, really want it right now, you can actually be a beta tester. At the very bottom, uh, there is a link with an email and you just send an email to that and you can be a beta tester. We do prefer it if you'll actually give us feedback and not just use this for your own personal benefit without telling us how it's helping you or not. But either way, once you get it and download it, you can install it like any other JW Lewis script. There's more steps in the description if you need more help. And always feel free to comment down below if there's things you have questions with or are struggling with. But once you get it, you can actually open it up in your JW Lua and you run it, Jetstream Finale Controller, and it pops up this box. Now, what does this box do? Well, in essence, it actually is looking for a number. For instance, if I had a note here and highlighted it, did plugins, Jetstream Finale Controller, and typed in 0022, it would give me a crescendo below the note, which is actually really, really helpful, especially given that we took a lot of time and effort to create the macro with JW pattern. But now the next question is, how do you actually find what that value is? How do I know that I can also type in 0023 and it will give me a decrescendo. How do I know that? So one of the things you have to do if you're actually installing the profile as well and not just the JW Lewis script is you have to install the Stream Deck app, which is free. You can download it for their website and you can actually see the profile there, which has the visual cues of all the features we have. And so for all of these, whenever you go somewhere, like for instance, the dynamics, you'll see down at the bottom that there is a title and also potentially a bunch of Apple script to say what this actually does. And if you scroll to the very bottom of the Apple script and you see submenu item, yada, 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 JW, just stream finale controller, and this very last number, 0022, that will tell you the number to put in the box. So for this crescendo, it was 0022. For the decrescendo, it was 0023. And there's also one for each of the dynamics. So you could, in theory, just put all the dynamics in with 0005 for Meta Fortes. And with the dynamics at the end of the region, there's like triple forte, and that's 0029. And so that's how you find the numbers. But what do I personally use? Well, there's a couple scripts here that work really, really well with musical elements. For instance, one of them is tempos. So we can actually write in tempos really, really quickly with the Jetstream Finale controller. And under Finale A Musical Elements, you can create a new macro with the hockey of T for tempo. As always, show a menu item. And then the menu item is Finale, Plugins, JW Lua, Jetstream Finale Controller. And then we want to insert text by typing. And we want to insert 9030. And then finally, we want to press the button of OK. Sometimes the dialog box doesn't show up right away. And if you ever have that, it's always good to real quickly have a pause until a button condition 
that OK is present. And so now what did we do? If we select a measure, hit Control A to bring up the Musical Elements dialog box, and T for tempo, it brings us up another dialog box specifically for tempo where I can say quarter equals 120. And boom, quarter equals 120. And the best part about this is that you can see there's a new expression for quarter equals 120, but if I add it somewhere else, like there, it actually will not create a duplicate expression. It uses the one that's already there, which is really cool so you don't even have to go to this dialog box much more for tempo markings. And you can do even more complicated tempo markings, such as, you know, my stoso, and I don't know, quarter dot equals 132. And we'll automatically do my stoso dot a quarter equals 132. It also takes care of parentheses. So, I don't know, lento, parentheses, you know, quarter equals 12. That's really, really slow, but you get the idea. And it takes care of that for you. Another one I use a lot is for technique text. And so for this one, I have a hockey of R. And this number, all you have to do is change the number. And the number is 9029. And it does pretty much the exact same thing, but with technique text. So A, R, and then I can type in technique text like div. Cool. And it doesn't necessarily create a new one. If you already have it, it takes what you already have. So if like for mutes and open, uh, pits and other things, you already have playback associated with it. It's a very, very, very quick way to instantly access all your technique text and keep the playback settings. Now there's one last one that I use over here all the time, which is for expressive text. And I use the hockey trigger of E, and this one is 9028. And so it does the exact same thing, where I can do Control A, E, and type in any sort of technique text, such as Dolce, and it will automatically appear below the staff. So like I said, there are literally hundreds of different functions that you can use with the Jetstream Lua. So now that you know what they are and how you can find them, you can really make your workflow lightning fast by combining the custom Lua scripts that I am providing, as well as all the JW Lua scripts that you get with the Jetstream Finale controller. Now in the next lesson, we're gonna quickly wrap up this module, as well as give some pros and cons of why you'd wanna use the Jetstream Lua scripts versus custom Lua scripts or why you'd want to potentially use Jetstream or even create your own Lewis scripts or figure out like the pros and cons, as well as again, wrapping up this entire module. So great work and I will see you there.